Hey Agnes, here's how to do Shady Lane. Um, I don't think I have it perfect, but I watched a video of a guy doing it and I listened to the song, I looked at some tabs, and just tried to figure out some of it by ear. So here's the best I can do for now. Um, I'll just play a little bit of it and then explain what I'm doing. That's the first part. Basically what you do is you hold down a G chord, like the bottom of it. Let me make sure. Um, you want to hold down like the middle finger on G here. You're going to go. So it's like a G chord, but all we need is the bottom note. I'm going to just open D. So. That's the first thing. You do the same pattern, but on E and B the bottom of E minor. And you keep that finger where it is and the next chord is like a probably a maybe a B minor or a G. I don't, I don't know what I would play over that. It's two it's so this is second fret and this is open. They do three two. So that's um, third fret and second fret is the bottom of a C chord on the A string and the D string. So G, E, sort of B minor, and the bottom of C. You do that a few times, and then you, then after the last time you go C major, so three, two, zero, one, zero. I put my thumb here so you can't hear that. You strum, strum again, and, just, and it goes like the last time is. So that's the beginning of it. So hopefully that's clear. Um, after that. You go. So then you do this little chord progression twice. You do a G chord like this. So middle finger on three, two, these fingers on three up on top. And you go. So you hit the bottom two notes, and then you up pick on the top two. And then you go to E minor. So really you don't even need this finger, but it's better to just hold it down. And that's the bottom two notes, then the top two. And you just do this. So then it's like this B minor chord, two zero. And it's like the middle four strings, so two zero, zero zero. Then you go to C, and the bottom two of C, and the top two of C. So. Ah, G, I messed up. E, B thing. I always forget to stay on this chord, so you gotta be careful. G, E, B thing, C. So you do that, and then the next part's kind of hard. This took me the longest to figure out. Actually, let me play the part right before it, and then do it.
First tricky it goes. They have like a variation in there, but I just started playing it this way and it seemed to work. And I was probably from watching a guy do it and then listening. I think he does it a tiny bit different than I was just doing it. So you go two, zero on the top string, then one, and then zero on the G string. So that's the first bit. So make sure you got that. Two, zero, one, zero. Then you do three, one on the B string. Two, zero on the G. So that was three, one, two, zero. So, so far we have. So I'll do that again. That's the first two patterns. Two, zero, one, zero, three. One, two, zero. Then you go zero on the B, two on G, zero, and then you gotta go down to two on A. And then you can just roll your finger up, or you could use this finger. You gotta get on two on G. The way I did it when I was playing was. That's two, zero. Two, zero. So this, the last two patterns were So I'll play the whole thing fast and then slow. So it's two, zero, one, zero, three, one, two, zero, zero, two. Zero, two. Roll your finger up to two on G. Two, zero, two on D. Back to G. So really slow. And then after you do that, you do E minor. Yeah, then you go E minor, C, D, and then you go. And they like bend it. I was trying to do this maybe, try to bend it. But it didn't sound right, so just bend your guitar. It's from the, the bottom of the G chord. So that last part is. C chord, then you do like pull this finger off. So that whole part would be. And that's the whole song. So they just then they just go back through those parts. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I think the way I'm doing it is pretty close to how they're doing it. And then I'll put a link to that guy's video that helped me to learn it. And he does a good job, so maybe check that out. Um, I think he he does this part a little different. Also, he goes like... And I didn't hear that chord. I just heard a straight D. Um, and there's a variation in this part, if you listen to it. Like, one time I think they just go... I think they go like that instead of there you go. Instead of there you go. So it's pretty slight, it doesn't really matter. The pavement, like their songs are sort of quirky and organic sounding, so anyways, um hope that was helpful and hope all is well. Okay, bye.